You won't believe what I cannot stop doing for the past few days. Keyword research on Pinterest. For about eight years, I've been looking for a way to see realistic search volume numbers on Pinterest. And finally, Pinterest started showing them. So that was the news. And just to make it clear, this video will be a very short and urgent update. It just appeared on the platform a few days ago and it might actually be taken away from us at any time. We don't know that. This is by no means a full guide on keyword research or SEO on Pinterest. It's not a comprehensive video for beginners who've never even saved a pin on the platform. If you're new to the platform, you're better off checking my thorough and step-by-step -step video about Pinterest SEO for beginners. I will link it up there and you can check it later. Now, if this new feature happens to stay on the platform for a long time, I promise I will definitely make a more in-depth video about all the ways, including this one of doing keyword research on Pinterest in the next couple of weeks. And I will link it here as well. So if you don't want to miss it, hit the subscribe and the bell buttons. So what happened? Why I'm so excited that I'm actually recording and posting a video almost without any editing. Because I sent out an email to my list about this news. And by the way, if you want to get all the updates about Pinterest from me, you can also sign up, for example, uh, on the page with my Pinterest SEO checklist. I link it in the description below. So I sent an email about this update on Pinterest and a lot of people replied back that they couldn't find search volume numbers and they didn't know how to find all this information on the platform. So I'm making this video to answer all of these questions. Pinterest has never shown realistic search volume data on their platform. They have some numbers in their Pinterest ads cabinet that are usually showing around five plus million or one plus million searches and similar exaggerated numbers like that for most keywords. And there were no tools, third party tools like that we have for Google keyword research that would show more realistic numbers of search volume on Pinterest. I believe that any tools that were available on the market simply could not show any search volume because Pinterest wouldn't allow them to do it through the official API. And you cannot build a software that violates the platform's API because obviously they'll shut down your access very quickly and probably can even sue your company. Okay, so you know that it wasn't available for us until now. But this weekend I was doing some keyword research using this quite recent uh, keyword research tool called PinClicks. And the biggest advantage of this tool is compared to say Pin Inspector software, which I talked about on my channel before, is that PinClicks doesn't only get some keywords that people often search for on Pinterest, but it also has a collection of more than 11 million official Pinterest interests. These are pages which you can actually find on Pinterest if you know where to look, but you won't find as many of them and they're not very well organized for you to find them that easy on Pinterest. Basically, the news is that on these pages of interests, Pinterest started showing this kind of text. See here for neutral bathroom ideas, 83,000 people searched this last updated four days ago. It's interesting that on these pages, Pinterest also is showing repeat counts for each pin. Now, repin counts have been hidden on the platform for a couple of years, and it's really surprising that on these interest pages, we as content creators get so many insights from Pinterest. It's almost like Pinterest is finally willing to share a little more data with content creators and nerds like me uh, to help us use the platform in a more meaningful and strategic way. How did I find this interest page? I went to PinClick's Interests Inspector. I searched for a more generic uh, niche for something like home decor, and then I found related topics. So I clicked on one of them, and when the topic opens, I can click on the title itself. And pay attention here, because it's not very intuitive. I wouldn't assume instantly from looking at this page that the title is clickable and that it's linked to the interest page on Pinterest. And just for the context, PinClicks has been on the market for a couple of months and it is a relatively new tool and I've seen a ton of improvements since I first tried it. The team behind this tool runs their own website and makes a ton of money off of Pinterest free traffic. So they're building software from the place of someone who actually needed this tool for their own business there on Pinterest 
on a daily basis and it is really promising and I can see how pin clicks could become the tool for Pinterest keyword research that was missing on the market for so many years. I guess it's just the right time for it to appear because uh, with so many publishers and website owners facing traffic drops on Google, more people are looking at Pinterest as organic traffic source. Anyway, PinClicks is free for five days. Sign up using my link in the description below and you can dive into your keyword research and see if this tool is worth it. And if you decide to sign up for the paid plan, don't forget to use my coupon because I partnered with the founder of the tool to give an exclusive discount to my audience. Use the code AnastasiaBlogger to get 25% off on any plan. A quick disclaimer is that obviously it's my affiliate link so you can support my channel at no cost to you by using my partner links in the description below. But if you don't want to support the channel, that's cool too, no pressure at all, but at least drop a like on this video. Let me show you a couple of searches that I made inside PinClick's Interest Explorer so that you can see how that actually can be so helpful and it can work for so many niches. For example, let's search something in a very different niche, something like personal growth. We start from the broad topic always, and then I can click on personal growth activities. And by clicking on the title of the topic, I will get the idea page and with the search volume we'll see it's just 146 people. Looks like a pretty narrow topic. Now if I go back and click on the personal growth plan topic, this one seems much bigger on Pinterest and it shows that 7000 people searched for it. Just out of curiosity I checked search volume for these two keywords in Google and my Chrome extension Keywords Everywhere shows 720 for personal growth plan in the United States and 590 searches per month in the United States for personal growth activities. So these numbers are quite different from what Pinterest shows and if anything you know that people are more likely to search on Pinterest for personal growth plans. While we're here, I think it's actually worth mentioning that PinClix is the first tool that's making an attempt to also track your website's positions on Pinterest search for different keywords. It's the first iteration of the position tracker, but I think it's better than nothing. It shows you the current position of your site for this keyword and the change compared to the previous time it, uh, it was checked in the tool. I want to mention that I just watched a video with the founder of PinClix uh, who is also very excited that this new information is now public on the platform, which means that they can now get all these numbers for all the 11 million interests that they currently have in the tool. And they can add these numbers to the interests and keywords inside their tool so that we as users can actually filter the results and get an idea of the keyword volume more accurately and specifically for Pinterest. Not what we had before, just Google keyword research tools, but from Pinterest itself. I don't know about you, but I'm digging into this tool and exporting as many popular keywords as I can for my niche to double down on them in my pins and content. The founder of PinClicks mentioned that they will start working on getting these numbers to their tool and we should all hope that the numbers are actually there to stay on Pinterest itself and it probably will take them weeks for this data to be imported for all 11 million interests inside the tool, but for now I find that it's already super helpful that we can find specific interest pages and then click on them and then get the search volume data on Pinterest itself. If you found this video helpful, give me a like and if you have some questions, the best place to ask me is always in the comments below. Now, before I close this page, I have a free on-demand Pinterest class that you can watch through the link in the description. And I will leave you here with a link to my video where I shared how I get over 80,000 monthly visitors to my site from Pinterest for free. If you want to watch it, click up there and I'll see you in the next one.